Hey, Jenny. Now this here horse is translated. Um, today, I'm just going to bring you with me on a little pony check. So one of the things I really enjoy being involved with is conservation grazing, particularly with ponies, of course. And one of the jobs that is done on a daily basis with conservation grazing ponies is to check on their health and welfare. So um, come along with me while we... Uh, go and find some ponies to go and check and I'll show you what we do. So one of the first jobs that's necessary is to check the boundary um, that holds the ponies in. So that can vary depending on the environment. Here it's a semi-permanent electric fence. So one of the jobs is to check that it's all in order and that it's working correctly. So here we have where the uh, battery and energizer is kept. And that is a lovely clicking noise. That's ticking away there, so we know that's working. Another very glamorous task is if I see a fresh poo, I just tend to have a little look. This one's been lead on, it's a bit squashed down. It's not very attractive, but it is important to know if um, the poo is normal. So if we spot something abnormal, like one that's very, very dry or very, very wet, then that's something that we would monitor, uh, keep an eye on, because it could mean that there's a problem and it might indicate that the ponies need a closer inspection. This enclosure um, has quite a few pedestrian gates so people can get in. This is access land. So another job is to make sure that all the gates we pass are safe and secure. And here we are, spotted the first pony. Uh, so now I want to hang back and observe them from a little bit of a distance so that I'm checking that their behaviour is normal as it should be. So there are seven ponies in this enclosure. I can see that Darcy is over there. She's kind of lurking in the bracken. And then we swing around over here. See some more ponies. Chloe's looked up and Felicity's looked up, checking us out. I think Flick has just been having a little scratch. So we know we've got four out of seven, so there are three more to go and find. Here is little Folly. He's that little white blaze down there in the bracken. There'll be a path there. He's not just swamped in vegetation. That's good. And a bit more over to the left. He's like, blink and you'll miss him. There's little Felix. There we go. He's popped his head up. So that's good. They're bright and alert. They're just ordinarily grazing. Folly's a bit disturbed by me, so he's going to find his mum. And then peeping up there is Gidget. So we have all seven, and they are all grazing away normally. So next thing is I'll go and check a little bit closer up. So here we go. Here's Felix. So when I do a visual check, because it is a visual check with these conservation ponies, that you look at them from the ears, all the way along their back, down their back legs, back up their back legs, along their belly, and then along to their front legs. And then you're just looking to see how they move and you also want to repeat the same thing from the other side of the pony so he's a little bit sticky on his stifle still that is something we're keeping an eye on post his castration and this is his other side he'd like to say hello hello felix so as you know from some of my other posts felix is he's a friendly little dude he likes to say hello to me i don't give him any food just uh just say hello so that he doesn't learn to pester all the good people who've come down here for their, their sandwiches and the rest of their packed lunches, in it, Felix? Yeah. So again, just visual check the other side, along his back, down his back legs, under his belly, back up under his neck. He looks fine, his coat's looking well. I think that's a healthy Felix, apart from being a bit sticky behind. So snuck up here on Darcy, I'm just going to sneak around kind of behind her so you can see what shape her croup is. One of the other things we do apart from looking for any visual blemishes or lesions or lamenesses is checking that their body condition is still good. So you can see that Darcy slopes off a bit on her bum and she's very slightly tucked in her waist. Um, I'm pleased because this is actually an improvement. She'd lost a bit more weight than that. Uh, and we're concerned that she had um, basically a worm burden. So she was dewormed last week and she looks like she's already picking up a little bit of weight. So that is really good. Yay. 
here we go. We just caught up here with little Gidget now. Um, she's getting a little bit friendlier. Um, I'm making sure, like with Felix, don't feed her, just letting her have the pleasure of my company. It's very much me that they're kind of getting used to, and we're hoping they don't get like super friendly with everybody because sometimes the ponies can become a problem on conservation grazing sites, especially when they get fed by people because they these guys really work the gift. They do try to get the old sandwiches, um, and we don't really want them to do that. Uh, we want them to yeah go for the food that's here already and not become so over friendly that they're hanging around looking for trouble all the time or getting grumpy with each other or getting grumpy with people because that can lead to aggressive behavior and we really don't want that because we want the ponies to stay here and do a really good job of sorting out this habitat this is lovely rare june heath uh, and we want it to be even better yeah we do don't we so uh yeah, we have a quick chat. We don't make it too amazing. Um, so it's nothing to fight over or get cross with people about. And then I'll go on and I'll just check the other ponies. So here is Felicity. She's looking grand. Nice and fluffy. It's a good girl. The strip that I'm walking up here is a bit that's been cut out. So some of the woody scrubby materials has been cut out, which will allow some of the wildflowers and the grasses to come back in and get populated. So it's good to see the ponies on this bit to know that they are going to be nibbling down some of the scrub and that they're going to be eating the grasses, which actually promotes the grasses to grow, which is really fantastic. The last bit that I do when I'm up here is I just try to take a little bit of time to admire the view. You admired there we go so um last port of call here and that is to check that there is enough water for these ponies so come over here and have a look down there so we've got two tanks um the water gets brought in on a browser by a quad bike um just whenever it runs out so the troughs will get a little clean out then they'll get topped up um there's no uh, mains water here that gets piped in and there are no sort of natural water sources either so it's the water that the ponies will get off the vegetation naturally as they're eating it and they can top up with what's in these troughs just as and when to their requirements Thank you for joining me on my stock check. Um, if you are interested in learning more about stock checking or helping out with conservation grazing, then there's some great organisations you can get in touch with, um, such as Pont Cymru, um, Wildlife Trusts, National Trusts and so on. I'll leave some links in the comment section below.